Hello, good afternoon, good evening, morning, from where are you watching from? I am your boy, and in this video training, I want to walk you through how to spot, how to identify the downtrend of trend so that you can make much more profit. It's like trading, you get simply trading money or using, it, using the IS I12 PSD or just trading manually. However, the case, whatever the case may be, you want to spot the trend and you want to trade with the trend. It is very, very vital, very, very important. Okay, so let's. Uh, let me let me quickly begin begin this talk okay so this is boom 500 this is boom 500 and we are on we are on the on the let me go to the for chat all right so uh the rules that governs one of the one of the core basic fundamental most important forex trading principle or forex trading rules that i operate with that i live by that trade by handed down to me from my mentors that i learned the hard way all right that i am passing on to you that i have passed on to that I will pass on to anybody who ever comes across me that wants to learn or I teach forest that I pass on to my private coaching students is never trading the trend or if you have to do that then you have to be very extremely careful is a total different ball game altogether trading trading against the trend it requires total different expertise or level or level of expertise okay it requires a total different level of expertise so uh what is what is uh what is obtainable is you want to trade in the direction of the trend, in the direction of the trend, all right? On a trade with the trend. So, and that will save you a whole lot of headache. Even if you're using I12 PSD or you're trading manually, uh, trade with the trend, saves you a whole lot of headache and helps you make profit much more. Much more. You make profit much more. Okay? Any good and uh experienced forex trader will tell you that forex trading in forex trading the trend is your friend until the trend says otherwise all right so you always follow the trend you have the, tr the trend is guiding you is following you i mean you are following the trend is guiding you you are following the train and it's guiding you all right so quick quickly how do we identify a trend or rather how do i identify a trend either an uptrend or a downtrend or a consolidation I'll, I'll begin I when I want to trade all right I begin my analysis from the d1 okay I take it down from the deal I don't I don't usually go to the monthly and the weekly I don't do I don't do all that I very uh, I very scarcely do that but basically before I begin my trading each each day or any time whenever I want to trade I begin my analysis from the day one now we are on the day one boom 500 index day one all right boom 500 index day one. so how do i know that this market is is trending or it's uh, uh is, is it an uptrend or a downtrend or it just be consolidating how do i know all right first of all once i pick up my my mobile phone or my laptop the first thing i look out for is what is d1 saying and what is the last candle saying okay this one. throughout this period what you see here is a consolidation what you see here is a consolidation okay up down up down up down up and movement can you see that up down movement okay up and down movement is consolidating and on your rosi the same thing is replicated all right it's consolidating did you get that so around this period that i just encircled that is the consolidation period okay but then so i know first of all from the information that my day one is giving me that this mark here is in a consolidation okay and in a consolidation 
there will be up and down movement okay to get to a peak to hit the base to get to the peak to hit the base okay uh, 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 this is the this is the peak and this is the base so in a consolidation market there will be up and down up and down hitting the the, the peak and hitting the base as you can see this all right but in in a trending market is what you get can you see that what we what we have here what we have here is totally different from what we have here price moved up from here price moved up from here Price moved up from here, got this point, and began a consolidation movement. Consolidation is a ranging market. Okay, it's ranging up and down, up and down, up and down. Okay, it's not moving. It's not making. It's not making higher highs. It's not making lower lows. Okay, that's a consolidation movement. Uh, a movement. All right. But in a in an uptrend, the basic rule in an uptrend is when you pick up your chart or your laptop and open to day one or your H4. I, I take my trend from higher time frame, the H1, uh, the, the day one H4 and the H1. They are my trend uh, spotters. That's where I spot my trends from. Okay. Now, when I pick obvious, what's obvious here? What's obvious here is that price got to this base. Okay. The next time it, uh, uh, and it, it went up, okay, it was higher. The next time it came down, it couldn't get to this base. It couldn't get here. It bounced off. It bounced off. It bounced off. It, it kept coming down, but at no point did he get here again, which was the lowest base. Okay, the lowest low. The lowest low. It never got to this point again. This is what we call an uptrend. This is what an uptrend. So an uptrend price makes higher lows, higher lows, higher lows. All right. So it fell, it fell here, but the low it got to here was higher than this low. It went up. It fell here. The low it got to was still higher than this low. This is an uptrend already. I don't need any. I don't even need any profit or any further confirmation. This is an uptrend already okay so there you have it so in an uptrend price means higher highs and lower lows let me go to my uh h4 so in my h4 this is the lowest low so price got here hit the lowest low it went up it came here again hit the lowest low and therefore formed a double bottom okay but from this point as price began to go up we never saw price coming down here again okay the only time we saw price come down was here okay price came down here okay this was the first low number one this is number two so another low number three another low number four and on and on are you seeing this are you seeing this so in in an uptrend price makes higher lows it will, it, will, it will fall it will drop or it will crash but it keeps the 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 next low is always higher than the previous low the next low is always higher than the previous low so that's how you know that price is in an uptrend okay then look at this way price got here what did i tell you about this kind of market movements consolidation is consolidating so it's, it's trying to decide if to go higher or if to drop lower and as you can see from here the price began to drop lower price began to drop. so now we are in a downtrend so this is how you know a downtrend or an uptrend okay are you seeing that it went higher here it went higher here okay well this high is lower than this high so price makes higher lows higher lows okay higher lows then lower highs this is a first high this is another high but this high is lower than 
this high this is number one high this is number two high came here again make another another high this is number three high just like that so this is a descending market this is a downtrend so whenever you see price in a downtrend you want to be looking to sell okay you sell you sell whenever price is in a downtrend you sell whereas whenever price is in an uptrend when price is in an uptrend you buy you look for buying opportunities you look for buying opportunities that means for each time price crashes it will always crash to a certain level or to your moving average depending on what you're using once it crashes to that point you're looking at entering the market to buy okay so that is how it works that is how it works if I scroll if I go to okay this is my 30 minutes this is my 30 minutes okay let's go to the one hour this is my one hour so in the one hour what can you see in the one hour price go to this peak and began to drop it went back up here second high second high this is number one high second high it dropped further it went back up to this point third high it dropped further I went back up fourth high and finally came down here all right I made a, a, a rock bottom here the lowest low this is the lowest low I've seen so far okay as soon as you turn on your trade turn on your chart this is the lowest low I've seen so far all right now price begins to make a u-turn begins to make a u-turn upwards upwards got to your moving average saved at the support then price began to descend now why is price descending here remember that the trend from the higher time frame is a downtrend so it's bound to always sell it's bound to always sell there'll be times when it will go up of course no market moves in a straight line All right but the predominant trend is a downtrend so you're looking to sell looking for more of sell opportunities more of sell opportunities in a downtrend market i hope okay this is the 15 minutes very clear here you can see how price hit uh, the highest high here the highest high here and began to you know crash crash go up crash and now you can see the highest low the, the lowest low if price breaks this low if it breaks this low that means we are entering another phase of a downtrend do you get this is the rsi 30 if it breaks it that means we are going to another phase of a downtrend it might travel this far then the macd will travel much further but if it doesn't break it then everything will reverse the rsi will go back up and the macd will from here go back up hope this helped you to a large extent